Yeah. All right. No. Okay then. Hey, both of you. Zoji Z6 and uh, Zoji Z7. Okay, so we're back in with the Z6 and the Z7 from Zoji. Now, Zoji is a quite new company that's under the HomTom brand, but the focus of Zoji are rugged smartphones. So these two, as you can probably tell already, have a more rugged appeal. And later on, we'll test them to see exactly how rugged they are. Looking at the design, you can see that both of them are quite robustly built. They both have metal frames and rubber grips around the edges, and they feel quite solid in your hand. Now, the difference between the designs being mainly the size, the Z7 being much larger than the Z6, in both the thickness and the screen size. The Z6 I have here is just 9.9 millimeters thick, making it one of the thinnest rugged smartphones available. The Z7, on the other hand, is 11.9 millimeters thick, so still fairly thin, but generally a bit heavier and a bit larger than the Z6 here. The screen size is also larger, being 5 inches compared to 4.7 for the Z6. It's this rugged design, combined with a strong screen material, which is Gorilla Glass 4, which makes these two phones resistant to shock and drops, such as this and this. The screens themselves both have some good degree of scratch resistance, as I'm gonna test now with this Allen key and this coin. All right then, starting with the Z6, let's see how it fares when I try and scratch it with this coin. Hmm, no apparent effect there. And how about the Z7? No scratching. And now for the Allen key. Even less, it seems, when trying on the Z6. And as for the Z7, same result. Nothing really coming up. Hmm, pretty good. Now both of these phones are waterproof and dust resistant with an IP rating of 6.8. Part of the reason for that are these very robust and tight port covers. Now, let's test out how waterproof they really are by dropping them into here. Let's do it. Now, both these phones have dual SIM card slots, Touch ID and a 3000 milliamp hour battery. But to talk more about the differences, well, as far as the internals go, the Z6 has one gigabyte of RAM, whereas the Z7 has two. The internal storage on the Z6 is eight gigabytes, whereas on the Z7, it's 16. But both are upgradable up to 64 gigabytes with an SD card. Keep in mind when buying either one of these phones that though the Z7 does have 4G capability, the Z6 does not. As far as cameras go, both have a five megapixel front camera. The Z6 has an 8 megapixel rear camera, whereas the Z7 has 13 megapixels on the rear. Okay, let's get our phones back and see how they got on. Whoa! Okay, uh, try that off a little bit. And uh, there you are. Hmm. So far, so good. Now let's check out the Z7. Screen, there we go. And should work just there you are. Good. And let's just test out the camera. <laughs> let's see if that works down there now. Okay, yep. Selfie mode still going. And down to price, they're both very reasonable, under a hundred dollars. The Z7 is just $90 and the Z6 is even cheaper at 75 US. Click the link in the description to get your hands on the Zoji Z6 or Z7 and remember to hit that subscribe button.
Commissaire, I'm not giving you a tell you.